Okay, moving into the circle. The crash site is secure. Samir, you've got a clear approach path to the derelict. Two steps ahead of you, Exo. Watch yourself, Commander. I'm coming in hot. You better not land on me. Okay, you're on the other side of the Argo. I think we've frozen Decker in mid-jump. There we go. Okay, still no sign of any enemies, so let's just brace. Samir Meyer. The package is delivered, Exo. I'm taking the Leopard to a safe distance before the pirates can get their guns running again. Roger that, Mayor. Dr. Murad, your team is clear to enter the derelict. I hear you, Mr. Oliviera. We are making our way inside now. Alright, people. You know what to do. Marines, clear the ship of pirates. Defend pleasure, Dr. Murad. against the pirate reinforcement 7. And it's pointing me over here. Commander? Commander? Okay, let's let's keep bracing. We'll move in and brace. Assuming we don't spot anyone. There it is, enemy contact. What did I spot? Completely unknown. Well, there's nothing I can do at this stage other than brace. It's not actually knocked me into initiative orders yet. Right, so we'll get myself and Glitch going down, going down the center. There we go. Initiative order. There's one light, uh, light mech, because it's moving on four. Okay, Decker, I'm going to want you to get a sensor lock on that guy. Because he's already moved. What's up, boss? So I'm going to jump you to the rear of the column. Maximum evasion. get you to paint this target. I've got a sensor lock. Okay, it's lost all of his evasion. Here comes another mech. And a third one. It says they're going to be seven in total. Right, what are you? Commando, medium lasers, SRMs. Okay, Behemoth. Uh, stay where you are. Precision strike this guy. Aim for the head. <laughs> it's only a 2% chance, but I've got 20, 20 chances. Okay, knocked out some of his armor, but that's it. Enemy detected. Okay, there's some of these enemies are vehicles. Oh, you lost all your armor from from your shoulder pieces. Never actually hit the head. Okay, so I'm gonna reserve oh no. We're still actually lower down, we're here. Air on and glitch. He moved me forward to here, get line of sight on that guy. Right, what are you? You're a locust, medium and short range lasers. Right, let's alpha strike. Oh, those are very low hit chances.
even with precision strike, there's not much I can do. Um, I'm just going to brace here, I think. Additional enemies detected. Okay, so that's another vehicle. So that's, what, five so far? Good to go. Okay, Glitch, can you get a better range for your weaponry? Well, we're showing yellows. That's a good range. Fifties and forties. They've got so much evasion. Yeah, let's precision strike this guy. See whether we can take him out. Affirmative. I should probably have aimed for a leg, actually. If you take a leg out, then the mech falls over and drops down the initiative order. Dr. Moran, the pirates have Alpha Squad pinned down in the Argos main hallway. Bravo Squad, Bravo Squad is holding the doors of engineering, but you better hurry up. Sergeant, talk to me. Okay, so that locus has moved but it doesn't have much evasion, so there's no point sensor locking it. So we're going to reserve Decca. Okay, that's a heavier mech. Commando. Okay, the commando is also a light mech. Okay. Commander. Right, let's start with our uh, with our artillery. The well, to hit percent chances are not that good. Let's just fire on this locust and hope the LRM barrage does some something. Here it comes. There we go. He's lost. Inflicted some heavy damage. He lost an arm. He's been knocked over. So that means he'll be an easy kill, possibly for my um, scout. Blackjack's taking a bit of a pounding, but it's bearing up relatively well. Waiting for orders. Commander? Okay, I think you should sense a lock to Jenna. So we'll keep you moving. Sensor lock this Jenna to make it easier to hit. Good to go. Okay, we're going to run glitch this Four way, so feet. she keeps up her evasion. I think we might split her fire. Okay, we've got the Locust that's almost dead. Jenna is almost dead. And you've taken quite a bit of damage as well. Um, Yeah, so we're going to try a full a full spread, one weapon against each. Um, 
with luck, we might take some uh, multiples out. And then Aero will be there to finish off. Got it. Okay, that's unlucky. That did take out an arm. So here come the vehicles. We haven't actually managed to get weapons on yet. It's a shame they all hit. Okay, Aeron. I'm just going to jump... Ro oh, that's going to expose my back to this vehicle. Engaging jump jets. I know it builds up um, a lot of heat, but I like it for the... for the evasion. What have we got? Let's do two medium lasers at A, two at C. And we're okay for heat. Engaging multiple targets. Okay, that's another that's another arm and torso destroyed. And we took out that one that had fallen over. Okay, so these mechs are pretty crippled. Dr. Murad, what's happening in there? Come in, Doctor. A little busy. The pirates are dead. But so are half of my engineers. It's an unholy mess in here. The bodies everywhere. Can you get the ship flying again? I need an update. Look, do you want me to talk or do you want me to fix the damn ship? You do your job, I'll do mine. Okay, only one of them has moved so far. Um, it's the commando. Do I want to sensor lock him? No, I think I'm going to reserve with Decker. Okay, actually moved in for a rear strike on me. Warning. Armor low. Alright, so both of them have moved. It's just their vehicles to go. Which can do a reasonable amount of damage. Waiting for orders. Armor isn't that bad. I wonder if it's worth jumping to do a rear arc attack on him. I'm not sure it is. If I move here, put my back to the wall, can't turn and face him. I can if I do that. Two lasers on each again. Engaging multiple targets. It's another arm blown off. Can't have many weapons left. And the vehicle's dead. Enemy unit destroyed. Ooh, structure exposed. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Didn't put my back enough to the wall, did I? Why is that not showing up? Okay, it's not actually showing any armor. St okay, there's armor stripped there. Rear, rear left torso. Good to go. Okay, glitch. Um. Do 
your heat is getting pretty high. So I think I'm going to jump you to there and then just use some of your weapons to try and finish off this Vindicator. I might split fire to Here the general. We go. Hit with uh, with the SRM sixes. Let's try a precision strike with the SRM sixes. <laughs> Targeting enemy backside. Okay, didn't take him out, but I did wound the pilot yes, again. Commander. Okay, Behemoth. Um. I think we just obliterate this guy. Firing a full salvo. Hostile eliminated. Alright, just Decker left. Ready for orders. No one else on the initiative order, so he actually gets two turns in a row. So let's see if we can make use of this. Still 60. Can you get a better to hit percent chance than 60, or is your gunnery just not that good? Now, he actually has armor at the rear. He doesn't have armor at the front. So if he jumps to there... Roger that. That's precision strike. Center torso. Got it. Excellent. One less target. Now you get to go again. Um, the only enemy thing on the field is this vehicle. AC-5 and a machine gun. So I could... Orders? You only do, do 30 melee damage. That really isn't much. No point sensor locking, because the vehicle's just going to go again in a second. So let's just jump to there. Engaging jump jet. Plenty of evasion. And unload your lasers in, um, into the vehicle. Unload one of your lasers into the vehicle. Firing on rear arc. Oh, nice one. Vehicle down. Grim Sybil. I think you uh, you think you're gonna steal my ship, you miserable little scrub. Nobody steals from Grim Sybil. I'm gonna carve you like a roasted pig. That's a big mech. Yeah, but it's in terrible condition. Concentrate your fire and you should be able to take it. Okay, and there's more than one. Okay, so we've got a Shadow Hawk. And another unknown mech there. Um, it's going to move on initiative three. I'm actually going to risk reserving Decker, because I want him to be able to sen sensor lock that Shadow Hawk, I think, after it moves. Reserving action. Okay. 
I had a lot of evasion pips there, and that and that hit, which is a little disappointing. Okay. Receiving you, Decker. You're just going to move out of the line of sight. Hang on. That's the heavy mech. I shouldn't have moved him yet. Okay, all I can do is shut... Sensor lock the Shadowhawk. We'll Got take the Shadowhawk out first. Okay, Behemoth, where are you? Can you get a line of sight? Move you to there, and then we'll probably use Precision Strike. Again, we'll aim for the head, because if we can get a couple of hits on the head and, and uh, injure the pilot, that's probably the way to go. Still indirect. Oh, I thought, I thought this was a direct line of fire. Okay. Okay, all of us are going to be able to move before these heavier mechs. I've just noticed there's two things there now. Oh no, that's this one. He lost um, a point of initiative because he had a cold shot against him. Okay, my heat isn't the best. But I can hit with the AC2s if I go here. Maybe some of the um, lasers. Okay, I'm actually going to turn off all the lasers. Try and save a little, a little bit of heat for later in the combat. Oh, nice ammo explosion! Critical damage detected. All right, you've lost your LRM fives. You've still got the SRM twos and an AC five. AC five can pack quite a punch. Commander. Okay, glitch. You do have a bit of a heat issue right now, so I don't want to move you too far. I, uh, I don't want to jump you. Your armor is in pretty good shape, isn't it? Uh, no, your arms are a little... And again, that thing's going to move and get line of sight no matter what. So let's just move you for... maximum to hit chance. Moving to position. I might use Vigilance here. Because Vigilance will give Guarded and Entrenched and still be able to shoot. Okay, there's Grim Sybil. She's in a quick draw, which is the heavy mech. A load of medium lasers and LRM-10s and SRMs. Still has 50% its normal armor. She is currently entrenched, though, so there's no point attacking her anyway. I can unload ev... No, I can't. I was about to say, I can unload everything without any heat issues, but... There you go. Two medium lasers and an SRM-6 isn't bad. I was going to use Vigilance first. Confirm. And now we'll attack. No secondary explosions. It's a shame. Okay. Unloading an Alpha Strike into Glitch. Easy on the armor, buddy. Could have been worse. Okay. So now I want Decker to sense a lot quick draw. Good to go. Oh, Vigilance has also improved Glitch's initiative by one. Waiting for orders. 
Okay, Decker. Run out here. Turn. I copy. And then we'll sensor lock Sybil. So she won't have any Sensor. evasion. Locked on. Waiting for order. Okay. I wish your heat wasn't so bad. Okay, I know it generates more heat, but I'm going to jump you to here. Because I... Th it means that Sybil might not... It means that Sybil might not target you. Let's just hit with the SRM-6s. Pilot incapacitated. Excellent. So everyone else can concentrate on Sybil. It's pretty good. Okay, I can hit her with three of the medium lasers and my AC2s with a pretty good to hit chance. That thing has a lot of armor. Structure exposed. Center torso. <laughs> nice. Standing by. Okay, Behemoth. It would be good if you could get a direct line of sight on her. But I don't think it's going to happen this turn. So let's just move you forwards. And, hit, and hit with the LRMs. Could maybe have tried jump jetting up to the top of a rock. Only a 55% chance to hit. Better than nothing. Oh, medium laser crit and a jump jet. Reporting critical hit. And she's injured. Nice. What's she going to do to me? It is literally me. That wasn't too bad. Okay, Decker, I need you to pi I need you to sensor lock her again. Actually, she only has a single point of evasion. Ready for orders. So rather than sensor locking, you could just run in behind and shoot her. shooting removes a point of evasion anyway. Locked on. Rear armor. There we go. Minus one evasion. Okay. Behemoth. Can you get line of sight? No. So let's just move you forwards again. Firing. How did you with the LRMs? Okay, she's quite close to being knocked over. So if I attack with glitches, short range missiles, and do that first. Get really up close. <laughs> Bit dangerous because she, if she survives, she might punch me, and as a heavy mech, that will do a lot of damage. Right, Commander. 
Did you knock her over? Unsteady. Okay, not knocked over, but is unsteady. Okay, it's up to me. <laughs> Let's move in here. That's good on all my lasers, which I can't use because of the heat. Ah! There's no precision shot. Let's hang back here. There's no evasion for me. I'm tempted to cook my mech. It is expensive, though. Two AC-2s and two medium lasers aren't bad. Command secondary effect. It was just a jump jet. Ugh. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Okay, now she gets to do something. Oh, she just guarded and entrenched. What's up, boss? Uh, jump up here, turn to face her. I copy. And do a sensor lock. That may have been a serious mistake on um, on her part. That strips her evasion. And Behemoth can hit with her AC2. Direct line of fire with everything else. Firing all weapons. Left, ar left arm has been blown off. Okay. No armor on the rear torso. Rear center torso. There we go. Center torso destroyed. Get your lance to the Argo, Commander. I'm just about done. Excellent. Let's get out of here. Affirmative. It's done. I can't believe it. It really worked. The engines are online and I have thrust control. You sound surprised for something you were so certain you could do. Go now. Celebrate later. Roger that. Hang on, Commander. For the first time in two centuries, this beast is going to fly. Mission successful. Your performance was exemplary, Commander. I'll be certain to ensure the upper echelons of the Magistracy High Command hear about your skills. Okay, so we did everything successfully. I don't think we took too much damage. But we've got 1.1 1 mi 1 .1 million. Okay, I'm injured for 20 days. Glitch is injured for 20 days. Everyone else is okay. We've got tons of XP. And I need to do repairs on the Blackjack. But it looks like that's it. Everyone else seems pretty good. Salvage. Three bits of salvage. OK, 
Okay, let's start collecting bits of the 60 ton mech. We've already got one Jenna. So let's get another one, because if we get a third one, we can sell it. And another Shadowhawk would be nice. Let's make sure there's nothing else special. Sometimes there's spe special equipment with abilities. They're marked with a plus. Okay, and we've gained some medium lasers, some SRM stuff, and some ammo. Okay, so here we have the cinematic. I would just keep quiet and let you enjoy the music, but the last time I did that, uh, it got a copyright strike and I had to remove the music using the YouTube tools, and that left like a, a rather bad audio glitch at the end. Maybe if I keep talking over this, it won't happen. It's a little uncertain. Also, maybe if I remember in editing, I'll actually lower the volume in the game, or even just mute it altogether might kind of be necessary. That is a heap of junk. <laughs> so we're coming into... Are we coming into dock on it? Hello? <gasps> but, no, it can't be. <laughs> but I saw you die. I'm so shocked. What a twist! In exile, high orbit Alloway. Anna Maria Centrella. You've done excellent work, Commander Loralian, and you've earned yourself an opportunity to do more. Meet your real client. I don't believe that she needs an introduction. I'm happy to see you again, Aeron. Or should I say, Commander? You have done well for yourself. The old man would be pleased. It must come as a shock to you, seeing us here at Alloway, seeing us at all. I apologise for that, but I had to be sure that you were the mech warrior I remembered before I reached out to you. And now, with the Argo on its way to Lyriton for repairs, I know you are everything I remember and more. None of that matters, Lady Arano. I'm just happy to see you alive. Yes, but how? Forgive me, Lady Arano, but you're supposed to be dead. Lord Madeira, too. The news feeds ran footage of your dropship getting blown out of the sky on a loop for months. That wasn't her dropship. The broadcasts of her death were, di uh, were directorate propaganda. Well-crafted lies to keep the masses in line. And with that, Kamiya, I leave you to your reunion. Best of luck with the negotiations, and keep me apprised of whatever decision you come to. Lady Centrella's face winks off the viewscreen. The dull blue glow of her hollow projection slowly dies away. Lady Centrella was right about the propaganda, Aeron. My uncle's directorate is run on lies, though in this case they very nearly became true. The directorate's assassins pursued us into the frontier. In the months following the coup, we had more than our share of close calls. Eventually they gave up looking for us, and we've been living in exile ever since. Where have you two been hiding for the past three years? As far as the directorates, um, as far from directorate space as we could get without leaving the frontier, a miserable little ball of a rock called Zathras. Don't, don't badmouth Zathras. He's wonderful. Ah, Zathras. Nobody likes Zathras. Everyone complains about Zathras. Zathras um, have miserable life. Probably die horrible death. It was a nasty, brutish planet full of internecine strife and bloody turmoil. There were power struggles and mad nobles, plagues and zealots and holy wars. Oh, sounds fun. Could we go there? You're saying it was a typical frontier world? <laughs> More or less. Living on Coromadir, I heard stories about, about the problems that many frontier systems face, but I was detached. I never saw how rough life outside of the Oregon Coalition could get. My uncle's coup changed everything, Aeron, including me. You had Centrella send us after the Argo. I'd like to know why. In part, as a test of your abilities, to make sure that your performance on Coromadir wasn't a fluke. Our experience in the coup has taught us to be careful, Commander Loralian. We couldn't just reach out to you on faith. 
But the Argo herself is important as well. She isn't just a ship aeron, she's a symbol of reclamation and rebirth and return of better days. You'll see for yourself soon enough. She was a majestic vessel once, a true product of the Star League. Under Dr. Murad's care, she will be again. Okay. You made it off Corimidor and you found me. Let's talk about why. I imagine you've already guessed. I intend to seek justice for my uncle's crimes. I intend to take my throne back. But I can't do it without you. We have resources, an army drawn from all across the frontier. Perhaps most importantly, we have the patronage of Lady Sen Centrella and the tacit support of her government. That means money, a great deal of money. The Magistry is bankrolling you, huh? Unofficially, yes, using Lady Centrella as an intermediary. The Magistracy uh, sees Camia's claim to the throne as an asset worth paying for. They want to see the Directorate dealt with, but it isn't in their interest to do it themselves. They'd prefer to keep their own hands clean. The Rimworld Periphery is a powder keg, Aeron. Tensions between the Taurian Concordat and the Federated Sons are high. My uncle's military posturing could be viewed as a provocation by either side. If open conflict between superpowers were to erupt, it would be difficult for anyone to remain neutral. The Magistracy wants to avoid getting dragged into a major war. Hmm. And your House Central is best hope for a clean solution. They'll fill your war chest, you remove the Directorate from the board, and the Magistracy lets tensions between the Federated Sons of the Taurians simmer down on their own. Am I reading the situation correctly, Lady Arano? Correctly enough, Mr. Oliviera. But understand that this isn't just about diffusing a dangerous situation. For me, taking on the Directorate is personal. My uncle betrayed me. The Founding Council has been reduced to a handful of powerless figureheads. Our very identity has been cut away and discarded. House Espinosa is long overdue for a reckoning, and with your help, I will bring them one. Join with me, Aeron, and we will not fail. You've already sold me on this, Camia. I pledge myself and my company to your cause. Notice I didn't actually ask anyone, I just sort of declared. I was hoping you'd say that. Of course, you cannot wage war on my behalf while, you, while your travel restrictions remain in place, and so I shall break them. Now you have pledged yourself to me, I will buy your company's debts. All of them. You'll be free to travel and seek clients as you please, so long as you come to me when I call for you. And on the day that I reclaim my throne, your obligation to me will be forgiven, your debts wiped clean. Of course, you will also be paid for every battle you fight at our behest, at a rate that will feel quite generous given the clientele that you're accustomed to. Thanks to House Centrella, we have money to burn. I'll justify your faith in me, Lady Arano. Together, we'll make Mastiff Montgomery proud. I am pleased that you feel that way. In truth, I feel that Sir Raju is smiling down on us even now. I'll take my leave of you now. I have an army to rally and preparations to make, but it won't be long before I contact you again, and when I do, I'll need you ready. Prepare yourself and your company, Aeron. Our war is about to begin. Lady Arano just, uh, just bought up all of our deck, Commander. That means no more banks restricting our jump ship access. We can travel to more systems now, but we should steer clear of the major states. We don't want it to look like we're going to cut and run. Good news, Commander. Once Doc Murad and her crew got that wrecked ship safely away, they found most of the Centurion in its cargo hold. It's not equipped for combat yet, but with a little love and attention, I think I could return it to service. I'll swing by the mech bay to check it out and order a refit. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. A sturdy and reliable mech, the Centurion is good at both taking and giving a beating. Uh, CN9A models are able to engage at any range, but their damage curve increases as they approach their target. Okay, um, that was a long session. <laughs> I've, I've probably split it into two episodes, but for me this was all one long continuous thing. The story missions I think are always going to be long, and there's lots of reading dialogue and stuff to get out, get out the way. Let's just quickly do the admin before we end the episode. So the, so the Centurion is a 50-tonner. Can have loads of missiles. So I could either swap out 
the Vindicator, which um, is a brawler, which was our brawler that Glitch was driving. Or I could swap out the Blackjack. Which means I could save doing repairs. It can have four jump uh, four jump jets and is ten tons heavier. No, five tons heavier. Blackjack cannot have any missiles which does weaken it in close-range combat. I mean, the lasers are good, but they always heat up so much. Yeah, in between episodes, I think I'm going to see whether or not I can get this thing um, configured. I won't sell my, sell my Blackjack, but I'll see whether I can configure this thing to be my uh, my new ship, uh, my new mech. So for now, let's just hit repair on that. Only takes a day. Right, let's let's check out the barracks and the mech where I spend our experience points. Okay, so Yeah, so I think evasive movement is going to be best for my um, close-range fighters. Sort of keep them moving, turning and stuff, taking stuff out. So let's spend the experience points upping my, the piloting. Training confirmed, Commander. Good to go. All right, now you can actually get a second, uh, your second special ability. I think multi-target is the way to go for the um, artillery boat. The idea is that you can be standing somewhere towards the back, bulwark meaning you're getting to um, getting bonuses without moving. But if you can split your LRMs, only and if we get you in a really heavy mech, you can be like launching LRM twenties at multiple targets. So our current spe specialization is a defender because of that. But let's. See, I don't, I don't think there's any point giving evasion or sensor lock to the person in the gunnery boat, so... Training complete. Okay, so she still shows as a defender. Waiting orders. Standing by. Right. You don't have enough for either of those, but... Gunnery is less important for you. I think piloting is the way to go. I need you to be as evasive as possible. So I'm going to save save your um, um, XP and raise that next. Waiting for orders. Okay, so you get your second ability as well. You're another front uh, frontline fighter. So again, I think evasion. Okay, that's it for this episode. Um, I'll try and remember to get that mech stuff done at the start of the next episode. I don't know if there's going to be any contracts where we are. Oh, there is actually. There's one here. So we do have a contract we can do bef uh, before we leave, and then we'll go on to the payroll se uh, seizure. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.